Hi everyone, this is a video to talk about how to do bolt pre-tensioning loads in SimSolid Cloud. So here's a model, I'm in on shape, and you can see I have bolts on this pump. And if you zoom up, you can see that we have maybe a little bit dirty geometry. So it's the, the uh, fillet here is not quite right. And uh, before I clean that up though, I wanted to understand what the what happened if I did bolt pretensioning. So here's my model in on shape. I bring it over to SimSolid Cloud. Here's the same model. Now, a couple of things you'll notice. At first, when it comes into SimSolid, uh, even though I had the bolts, the bolts, washers, and, um, and nuts, all of that is automatically detected. So if I look at here, I have that's a bolt, that's a washer, that's a nut. Uh, and, and you know, if I want to go and look at that, I can just come here, info, uh, bolt. Okay, so all that is done automatically by SimSolid. Now to do a bolt uh, tensioning load, I do the following. Let's, uh, let's create a new analysis, linear analysis, linear static. Let's, um, let's go here and constrain the base just so we have uh, fixed the model. And then let's come in here and create uh, bolt and nut tightening loads. Now, the way I would do that, I would pick the bolts or nuts I want. So let's just go around here and pick these. And then I have to decide what kind of method I want to use. Um, I have three methods. I can do number of turns, like bolt turns. I can do a torque and a friction value, or I can do a target axial force. So let's do a torque and a friction value. Let's say something like uh, 10 newton meters. Let's see the friction is 0.1. Okay, that's all I got to do. So I've got my load constraint and now I can just go ahead and solve my model. Okay, there you go. There is the model in uh, the results and you can see we can do a couple things here. We can look at safety factors and you can see here that um, I'm at 128, so I'm about 70% of yield, which is kind of where you want to be for uh, bolt tensioning. I can look at von Mises stress, and there's my, my stress field on the, on the bolts. I can also look at bolt forces, and this is really an important aspect of doing that. If you want to come in here and I can look through my model and I can pick, I can, I can look at, uh, for any bolts, I can look at you know, any bolt force, the axle, shear, or bending on any of the bolts. Now, I can look at this in a couple of ways. This is, you see, the fully detailed model, but if I want something a little more abbreviated, I can just come in here and turn these off. Uh, and in fact, typically, this is what you would see. You would see just uh, this type of display. But you can, you know, as you pick any on here or there, you can, on the screen, you can see what the forces are and the bolt tightening loads. Okay, well that's really quick how I do uh, 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 bolt forces in, in some solid. If you want more detail, come over to our help and you can come down here to uh, bolt tightening uh, right here. And there's quite a bit of information about how we define the bolts, uh, the interface to do it, how to create a tightening load. And in fact, even the types of uh, bolts and nuts we support, we can do either a, a bolt nut combination, uh, nuts on a threaded shaft, a blind bolt, or even nuts on a post. So all of those configurations, all done automatically, all done with a full 3D stress state. No, R, no you know, beams or RBE2s or 3s or anything like that. This is a full 3D bolt tightening representation. And in fact, even if you want the gory details, come down here in the help and it'll take you through all the, all the background about how we do the method. Okay, well that's bolt tightening uh, in some solid cloud. Thanks for watching.